Recording in progress. Hiring uh, one less. Guys, are you able? Right. <clears throat> so we said we started uh, another the basic topic here in SQL language. So functions, okay. Right. In this, uh, some different functions we discussed. Okay. Uh, we said here the types of functions. Okay. Yeah, predefined and user defined, right? And after that, uh, predefined functions again two types: here, single row and multiple row. And after the single row again, uh, some types here there. So numeric, string character, date, conversion, analytical functions, okay. No? So now, and later, uh, how to call your function, we take, you know, some syntax here. And later in the syntax, uh, we are using real and what is real. So we will be discuss here. <coughs> now, after that, uh, uh, we can go for uh, what is real, real, how to, the real structure of table, how to see. So this all you can go to check it out, okay. And after that, uh, okay, we started here uh, numeric functions and one function is started. So that is what we call as ABS function, okay? So next function, we will go for it, the second one. So the second is called as a sale function. The second function is called as a sale function. So basically sale function is going to be written, okay? So what it was written means, uh, it written a value it written a value okay, which is which is equal equal or which is equal or more than which is equal or more than more than the given the given expression the given expression okay now so now <coughs> this is seal seal uh this function, what it was going to return means, when I'm passing some expression, okay, some value along with the seal function, the seal function, maybe it returns equals to that given function, okay, the given expression equals to the given expression, otherwise more than 
that given expression. Okay. Now, so now let me come back here. So select C of uh, suppose I'm passing the 9.0. So when I'm passing 9.0 is what happened. It is equals to and you will be written. So 9.0 means equals to 9. But when I'm passing here the C of uh, okay we are passing like 9.3 or something if we send some expression from the real then it was showing as a greater than value or more than 9.3 so that means greater than value how much here 10 okay so that means either equals to 9 or greater than okay so greater than of your given expression this is what we called as a c function this is what we called as a c function in the same to same, next one we can call as your flow function is that flow function is also written. Okay, so how it was written flow function means uh, it written okay, written a value okay which is equals to which is equals to or is less than okay less than the given expression less than the given expression. Okay, it's quite opposite here. So flow function. If I want to send in flow, okay, suppose in the same pattern I'm sending the flow. <coughs> so select and we are passing your flow expression. Suppose the same I want to give your 9.0. Okay, from real, then what was happen? So equals to that value. Otherwise, if you want to give flow, okay. So now I'm passing here, suppose 9.8 if I'm giving now, and even though it was written less than that. So now we are 9.0 and 9.8, but always it was a less than or equals to a given expression. Okay, so this is quite opposite of your flow. And after that, we are going to be using the next one is like a mode function. Like a mode function. Okay. So mode function, what it will be happen as here. So it, it returns, return. Okay, the reminder value. It returns uh, reminder value. Okay. So for example, let you come back here. So I'm passing here select mode of. Uh, suppose I'm giving some ten comma two. If I'm giving the mode from um, real. So what is the uh, what we can say? Reminder value of 10 by 2 is equal to what now? 0. Suppose if I want to pass here more of uh, so 10, okay, 10 comma 3, okay, 10 comma 3. If I want to send, then what is the more? Mode is 1. So this is what we call as a mode function. It returns reminder value as per the given expressions. And the later we have here, next one is called as a power function. Okay, power function. And uh, it returns. And uh, it returns. Okay, the power of a given, the power of a given expression. <coughs> so these are uh, completely predefined functions. And the fundamental of uh, predefined functions here. Okay, right. So now return, okay, power function. Suppose if I'm going to pass in here the power of, uh, suppose I'm passing 2 to the power of 3. So 2 to the power of 3, if I want to set here, so that information will be, okay, uh, what we can say 8. 2 to the power of 3 is nothing but 8. So this is power function information. In the same to same, next one is called as a few functions are there. Like the next one is we have here uh, square root function. Suppose square root function is there. So square root function, it returns root value. Okay. So it returns root value. So whatever we given here, the square root. So the return value will be, okay, root value. So square root of uh, Suppose I'm passing the 36 okay, from real, then so 6 is the root value of 36. So that is what we call as a square root. Okay, and now 
next one is called as your round function so round function what it will be written means uh, it written the nearest value okay written written the nearest value okay written the nearest value of given expression nearest value of given expression and this syntax how it will be means for example carefully observe the syntax will be round of here i am passing my expression value so that is called as expression and comma and here decimal places okay decimal places so decimal places is a optional part okay it's not a mandatory okay so your expression that means you are whatever the expression value you want to give that value you can give and this is decimal places it's optional part okay so now i will show you without decimal expression and with the decimal expressions we can see now come to <coughs> now carefully observe suppose i'm going to pass in here the round of uh, okay some expressions i'm passing here uh, for example the okay five point uh, some four five i'm sending now so from the so your five point to four is the expression i'm passing okay so otherwise uh, for your confusion to avoid uh, five point four i'm passing so five point four when i'm passing here what is the round of that means the nearest value of uh, this five point four means uh, the nearest value is five the nearest value is five suppose in the round function suppose in the round function if i'm using 5.5 if i'm giving now so what is the nearest value of 5.5 is nothing but 6 is nothing but 6 okay so this is round that means whatever the expression we are giving that expression nearest values will be written so 5.4 up to 5.4 it was nearest value 5 5.52 Okay, above the nearest value is six. Okay, this is just the expression I'm passing. For example, suppose if I'm sending one more, thirty-two uh, point. Okay, I'm I'm saying here suppose thirty-two point. So four, three, some two I was given comma, and the decimal places two I was given now, and the decimal places two I was given. Now. So here thirty-two point four three two. And comma decimal points yet. That means after decimal point, how many values I have to take? Your two values I have to take. So four and three. So okay, four and three. But here after three, which value is there here? Two is there. <coughs> which value is there here? Two is there. So two means how it will be treated here? Point to five less than value. Okay, two is nothing but point to five less than value. So when point to five <coughs> less than value. Then it will not adding any value to the what we can say the left side expression whatever it was there so it doesn't value any okay any number or any value is not added so for example you can see here five point four I was given so zero point four so g point four point four means zero point four so this point four is less than two point five so that's why there is no nothing was adding to your okay what is your Uh, whatever the next expression point expression five is there, so nothing was adding to five. Okay, so because it is a point four, here what happened? Point five, point five is equals to point five or more than to point five. Then one will be adding to your expression. One will be adding to your expression. If your point five above point five is equals to or point five above, if your expression is there. Then that value one is adding to your expression five. So five plus one six will be added. Okay. Now. Here also you can see thirty two. Okay. Point after decimal point. How many digits I'm asking? Two digits asking. This is called a decimal places. So two digits I'm asking. So after two digits, what it will be there? Two is there in the third character. In the third digit number two is there. So two means here how it was considered in your point two. Point two means so the point two is less than point five. Point two is less than point five. So that means it doesn't add any value to your existing expression. 
So it doesn't add any value to your existing expression. So that means what it was written here. So what it was written here. 32.43 only written because you have 43 only taken. Why it is 43 taken means I'm asking only two decimal places. I'm asking only two decimal places. So that's why 43 was taken. Okay, now for example, in the same expression, in the same expression, for example, 32. Okay, 435. I'm giving comma two decimal places and from do it so here carefully observe so 32.43 up to here it will be okay getting your information but after two decimal points that means after decimal point how many digits here two digits are there so two digits okay four and three but after three what it was there here five is there so five will be considering what now 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 is considered Consider means what had, what happened here, it will be adding one value to your previous digit, adding one value to previous digit. So that means then what, what output is what now? 32.44, 32.44. So why it is a 44? Because 43.5, 43.5 means so it's a 0 0.5 equals. To. So when it is equals to 0 0.5, then it was adding one. That is adding one into your previous digit. The previous digit is what now? Three. So three, it will be added one. So so plus one, then 43 plus one, 44. Okay. Now. So in the same pattern, for example, are you given now? In the same pattern, are you given now? Suppose are you giving here 32 point, suppose four, three, six, or seven, or eight, whatever you can take. Then you can do this one, please, from doing So now I'm going to enter here, observe. Four, three, it's a decimal place, it's not two. So four, three, after what it was there, seven is there. Seven means it will be considering like a 0 0.7. 0 0.7 means it is a more than 0 0.5. When it is a more than 0 0.5, one is adding to your previous digit three. So that means here also, how much it was come to us means here also coming 32.44. Okay, so your simple point is what now? 0.5 is equals to or more than 0.5. If it is there in your expression, then one is added. Okay, now one is added. If 0.5 less than, okay, less than value is there in your expression, then nothing was added. Nothing was added. Okay, now so this is a round function working nature. Okay, now this is a round function working nature. Okay, now in the same to same, next function is there that is called as a trunk function is there. So trunk function is also same like that, but uh, the difference is what you can observe. Trunk function, what it will be written means it is not a nearest value, it is not written, it is written. It written okay and exact value okay written here an exact value okay the syntax is also same syntax here also the syntax is trunk <coughs> of expression comma decimal places okay decimal places right now here trunk is absolute suppose when i'm passing trunk function Okay, see carefully the rounded trunk function carefully observed. Now, the first of all, same as is 5.4 I was given. So 5.4 if I'm giving now, and here what it was happened, 0 0.5 is not considered here. Round function is considering 0 0.5. If your value is more than 0 0.5 or equals to 0 0.5, one is adding. Okay, into the previous digit. Suppose it is less than 0 0.5, then nothing was added here. Okay, that is a round function. But trunk function, what happened? This kind of 0 0.5 is not considered. So if I'm giving 5.4 mean, exactly it will be written 5. Okay, exactly it will be written 5. And in the same pattern, in the same pattern, suppose if I'm giving the 5.8 also, I'm giving now. The 5.8 also I'm giving, then it returns 5 only returns. 
it represents 5 only. So that means at point 4, this is considered by round function. But your point 4 is not considered by trunk function. And point 8 uh, considered by round function. Okay, but it is not considered by trunk function. So trunk function, what it was happened? 0 0.5 value will not be considering here. Will not be considered here. That's why exactly value will be written. Round function is considering 0 0.5 so that the nearest value will be written. But here, not considered, that's why there is no nearest value. Exactly value will be taken out. Okay, now, in the same to same, let you see here. So now, one more. Select trunk function. Okay, so now same expression again. 32.432, comma, two decimal places. Two decimal places. Then what happened, guys, here? Here, four Two decimal places means uh, after decimal point, uh, I wanted two digits. That called it two places means two digits I wanted. So, okay, but here three digits are there. I'm taking two digits. But what I said, trunk function will not consider two. That means 0.5 will not compare here. So, that's what it was happening, guys. Here, suppose if I want to enter exactly 32.43. So 32.43. So because 43, why it was taken? Because I'm asking two decimal places. Because I'm asking two decimal places, the 43 exactly was taken. But it is not considering year 0.5. Okay, now in the same to same, next you can see trunk of 32.435. Okay, comma two. So here 435. So the same thing when I'm giving into a round function. The 4, 3, 5, comma 2 means what it was here. This is 0.5 considered. This is 0.5 considered. So the 0.5 considered, that's why 1 is going to be added and it was showing 43. But here, what I'm telling here, 0.5 will not be considered. 0.5 will not be considered. So here also, same expression. Here also, same expression will be taken. That's 32.4. So what exactly you wanted, that was written by trunk. Okay, round is nothing but it is considering 0 0.5 value. Based on 0 0.5 value, it will be nearest value will be written. Okay, suppose your expression 0 0.5 less than is there, then it doesn't add any value. If your, exp your expression 0 0.5 equals to greater than is there, then it will be adding one value. Okay, no? but a trunk is not like that. In the same to same trunk, you can see exactly. So trunk is, you can see, 32 points. Suppose I'm giving 4, 3, 7, I'm giving, and comma 2. But even though, even though, here what happened? After two decimal places, 7 is there. 7 is there means here 0 0.5, actually. 0 0.5, actually. But here 7 is there. 7 is there means what now? 0 0.5 is not considered. So that reason, it is the display only exactly value. So trunk function, is not is written exact value okay and the round function written the nearest value here okay now. so this is different of your trunk and round okay so these are some predefined what we can say guys here the uh, number functions okay or mathematical functions also we can go to for this okay so these all functions we will get some idea and these functions how to use in coming classes as per concept wise i'm using these functions wherever i required it so based on this knowledge there you will be sufficiently understanding the points okay now right in the next one is uh what we can say the next function category is what now string or character functions string or character functions In the string or character functions, okay, my first function, okay, my first function is called as what is here? Length function. My first function is what now? Length. So length function is going to be what it will be do means that it written length of, okay, length of given string. So whatever the string expression we are giving here, the string expression, how many number of characters are there? So that is, number of that means the length of string expression value will be written okay for example 
for example now i pass select length of one expression one string expression i'm giving here hello so hello from doing so hello is having how many number of characters means total five characters are there in this expression so it returns five total five characters are there in this expression so it returns five so that means in your string each and every character will be counting here in your string each and every character will be counting here so then it returns five okay now so this is for example if i want to keep select length of okay i'm giving you well welcome the well space come i was given well space come i was given so now here generally if you see the characters in the string if you don't count a space only characters how many are there so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 is there so seven characters are there but in our database what it was happened whatever the spaces we given the space is also counting whatever the spaces are given the space is also counting okay space so that means including space now how many counts here 1 2 3 space is a 4 and c is a 5 6 7 8 so that means including space 8 now we can see space is counting or not you can check yes space is a counting so in our database space is countable space is countable okay na so that's why it was showing 8 okay in the same to same let you come back suppose this is our table the table information employee was there so in this table suppose employee names we have it here. okay total 14 employees names sir we have it here suppose if i want to know the length of employee names then i can write like e name comma here i'm passing length of e name okay from emp table then what it was happen you can see every employee length was finding out that means every employee name is having how many number of characters so like a smith is there so smith is having how many number of characters five allen is five word is four jones is five martin is six blake is five like you can see you can see every employee name and the employee name is having how many number of characters so the characters will be count will be displayed okay that is what for example in this after counting of these values okay what i want to know okay which employee name is having six characters which employee name is having six character so that employee okay details i want to fetch from the table so your six character employees how many people are there here one is martin one is turner one is a miller so there are three people are there whose name is having six characters so now suppose if i want to send my query select star from emp so where what do you want to say length of e name okay length of e name is equals to 6 if i'm giving now length of e name is equals to 6 so that means which employee length is six that employee data we need to fetch okay let you see to execute now yes so we are fetching the employees information employee name martin the employee name tarna the employee name miller okay now so like we can go to use your okay what we can say you can use your so your length function to finding the length expressions of your okay the in the given string okay whatever the length expressions we have it here so that we can go to find out
Okay, right. This is length function. And the next one is what we called as guys here, lower function and the upper function. So some pair functions I'm going to giving at a time because, uh, okay, we will be save our time. Lower and upper. So in the names are the lower function. So lower function will return, okay. Lower function will return, okay. It is used for to convert, to convert uppercase characters into uppercase characters into lower case characters lower case characters okay now this is lower function upper function is a quite opposite okay to convert lower case characters into lower case characters into upper case characters upper case characters Okay, now <clears throat> this is lower and up. So now let me see some examples on this. Carefully observe. So now come to suppose are you passing here lower function? So lower of a hello. But your hello string is a capital letters and uppercase characters. Those uppercase characters will be converting into lower case and it will be converting into lower converting into lower okay now same to same when i want to go for suppose i'm using here upper function upper and suppose i'm passing here lower expression i'm passing now then these lower characters will be converting into upper converting into upper so this is a lower upper conversion to lower upper lower conversion to upper okay now now in the same to same when I'm using, okay, uh, select uh, for example, e name, comma, we can apply lower of e name, okay, from your EMP table, then what happened? So that employee whose employee, so whatever the capitals are there, every capital letter we displayed in the small case characters, in the small case characters, okay now. So like this, you can go to use guys here, upper and uh, lower case characters, just converting lower to upper, upper to, Lower. So these are the examples of upper and lower. Next one is called as a next one is called as a init cap. Init cap. In it cap. In it means the initial or initial character will convert as a capital. Initial character will convert as a capital. So that means what it was telling guys here yeah. to convert to convert okay the first character to convert the first character to convert the first character okay is capital first character is capital so now i want to convert here first character is capital in your expression for example let you see now i'm going to pass it select in it cap select in it cap suppose are you passing one expression is H E L L O <coughs> from dual. So H E L L O from dual means dual. This is your expression, carefully answer. But in this expression, my first character is a small case character, remaining all are uppercase. My first character is a small case character, and remaining case is uppercase. When I'm using init cap on this string expression, then what it will happen, you can see. First character will be converting as a capital and remaining all are small case character. First character converting as a capital, remaining all are converting into small case character. In the same to same, suppose I'm passing here in it cap of suppose my expression is, for example, okay, hello if I'm giving, for example, and I'm giving hello, okay. Here are what happened complete in your expression, all are small case characters. Complete your expression, all are small case characters. Okay, so if I want to apply this, then first character automatically converting into uppercase. So here you can see, here you can see the remaining first case is upper, remaining is as usual small. 
okay as usual is small so this is in it cap so in it cap for example in the same to say suppose i'm using okay one more example in it cap is there suppose i'm passing here kamal space kumar so kamal space kumar i'm giving now so in this kamal will created one word and some space and kumar is created as one word so in this expression words what it was happen all are i was given in the small place characters but when i executed this one let you see what happened in the kamal okay in this word the first character will be making as a capital and space in second word okay here the first character will be keeping capital so that means in the word whatever the word is given here in the word first case and first letter of uh, your word it will it will be converting into capitals okay now so this is init cap function working in nature okay next next after that we have your okay l l trim l trim l trim function and r trim function l trim r trim so pair functions i am going to giving at a time then we will save our time right so l trim Uh, so be here it removed unnecessary okay to to remove to remove unwanted okay unwanted characters okay from from left side of given string from left side of given string same to same r trim <coughs> Your R trim is what it was going to do is quite opposite. So one one should you have an idea, then automatically the second can you understand easily. Okay, one should have an idea second. So it is also to remove unwanted characters from right side of given string, right side of given string. Okay, now so this is what. And now here observe. In this L trim and R trim. So come to check out here. suppose are you passing l trim okay of uh, some expression i'm passing to you guys okay now so some string some space i was given sign some space i was given sign but here space is there in the left side part we have a space of given sai string expression so whatever that unnecessary space is there the space will be removed by trim trim is nothing but what no remove here trim is nothing but cutting remove here okay so now it will be remove and showing only side but here we have a confusion so this is a removed or not okay that kind of confusion is there because i am taking space that's so what you want to do you have to give some okay some unnecessary character you have to pass for example you are passing some x x x side x x x side are you given so in this expression in this string expression which is your unnecessary character so that is what the x so now you can give that x here it is unnecessary that i have to give x here then what it will do your l trim function the left side whatever the unnecessary x or x characters are there that will be removed now so remove and showing sign okay now in the same to same in the same to same l trim suppose are you given here 1 2 3 sai was given now 1 2 3 sai was given now so now here unnecessary digit is what now 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 now we can go to pass here do l and now 1 2 3 will be trim here okay now this is what the left side same as the right side r trim suppose sai is having some x axis in the right side my unnecessary character is what now x and from dual so it will be written all right side axis will be removed and finally showing what now sign so this is l trim r trim what is the mean here left and right side whatever unnecessary spaces or unnecessary characters are there those will be removed okay those will be removed from your string expression okay now this is left and right next one is there what is that <coughs> trim function 
so trim function what it will do guys here it removed okay to remove okay unwanted characters okay, unwanted characters from both sides from both sides both sides means left side and the right side okay here we need to remember syntax here we need to remember syntax so trim off okay here i am passing trim off here trimming character first thing so which character are you trimming here so the trimming character you just pass it trimming character comma so trimming character from the given string the given string so what are the string are you given there so from the string you have to take it here okay this is syntax of trim okay function come to trim function when you come back here to write here select so trim of suppose i'm going to give you an x from Okay, x x x sign. Okay, and some x x x. Okay, some unnecessary characters are there here, so that I need to remove. So when I remove here, see left side some whatever unwanted characters x, and the right side whatever unwanted character x, and which is my trimming character here? My trimming character is x. The trimming character trimmed that means removed from the left side of string and from the right side of the string. Okay. So this is trim advantage. The both side unnecessary characters, whatever it was there in your expression. So those we can go to avoiding. Okay, from both sides. This is trim. Okay, we can call this. And the next one is we are going to be taking here L pad and pair of this R pad. Pair of this R pad. <coughs> L pad and pair of this R pad. Now L pad R pad, what it is uh, means caveat. So L pad means uh, your padding. Padding is nothing but adding. Okay, padding is nothing but adding. So what we are going to be adding here, adding, okay, adding extra characters, extra characters, adding extra characters to to the given to the given string, to the given string on left side on left side okay so when it is when it is when 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 given string or when when the length of when the length of okay length of the string length of the string is less than and two length of the string is less than two less than two this specified less than two the specified the specified length okay so the specified length so when it was adding extra characters to the given string on left side means when the length of string that means whatever the string i was given Okay, so <clears throat> okay, so what I'm saying here when length length of a string is less than two, the specified length, then how many characters are less than that many? Okay, characters we need to add to your expression. Okay, now so now syntax here. This is what we say. Uh, L pad. Now, next one is what now? R pad. R pad is nothing but same as. R pad, what it was telling, adding extra characters to the given string on right side. R means right side. Okay, when when length of string is less than two specified length. Okay, uh, now we can see the syntax of this both. So L pad, L pad of here I'm passing string one. 
year and passing length and year and passing string number two. Okay, string number two. Same as our pad. Okay, first string one, comma, length, comma, string number two. Okay, now, so these are three, okay, the arguments we have it in these functions and let you come back. When you come to here, when you come to here, select L pad I'm using now, L pad of, for example, carefully observe. Okay, psi is there, it's one string. My length is, for example, I was given one. So when I'm giving length is one, now tell me, your psi is a string, this string expression is less than two length or is greater than two length? <clears throat> okay. What do you understand here? Psi. Psi, how many number of characters? Three characters. How many number of characters? Three characters. Length is how much here? One. Length is how much here? One. So that means you are string length is less than two one or is greater than two one. Yes, is uh, greater than two one. But what I'm saying here, when you need to add, when you need to add in extra characters, when the length of the string is less than two, the specified length. Understanding now? When I need to add your extra characters, when we need to add your extra characters, when your string length is less than two, the specified length. Then only we can add. But here, what it was happened? But here, what it was happened? My string, okay, my string length is less than or greater than or greater than. So greater than two length. So greater than to length, it means what happened? No need to add any extra character. Your string length is greater than to length. So there is no need to add your extra characters. When you want to add extra characters, when your string length is less than to given length, then only adding. Otherwise, no need to add. Okay, no need to add. But what happened? But what happened, you can see, then it was showing only one character. Only one character, because you are asking how much your length is given, one. So only one character will be written from your expression. Okay, now not adding, but number of characters, what you wanted, that was taken out. In the same to same, in the same to same, suppose I'm passing L pad, IE. Now I'm giving two. Now I'm giving two. Then what happened again? Your string length is not less than two, you are given length. So again, string length here also greater than two, you are given length. So whenever it is a greater than two given length, again, what happened? Not adding any extra character, not adding extra character, but how many characters you wanted two characters. So from that, it will take a two character S A. From that, it will take a two characters S A. In the same two thing, let you see L pad. And I'm giving psi. And here I was taken three. So here what happened? Still, your string length is not less than two length. It is equals to length. It is equals to length. Then what happened? Psi returns. Okay, three characters will be written. Okay, now. Now next one is what now? Select L pad. Now I'm giving four. four. Now length is less than to length. Is less than to given length.
Yes. My string length is how much, guys, here? Three. My length is how much here? Four. That means a three less than two, four. Satisfied, huh? Yes, three less than two, four, satisfied. So that means your yes, string length is three. My given length is four. That means <clears throat> your string length is less than two given length. String length is less than two given length. But tell me, how many number of characters is less than two, four? Your string is having how many number of characters which less than two, four? Your string length, how many less than characters? Only one. Okay, so that means here, Sai already three characters are there. But here, my length is four. So that means it is a less than to four. But how many less than? Only one character less than. Only one character less than. So one character less than, but here I didn't specify any special character. String number two, I'm not specified. Then if I leave it like this, what it was happened, left side some space is taken. Can you identify carefully? Carefully identify. Left side some space is taken. Yes or no? Left side some space is taken. Space is taken. Okay. Uh, so how, how many spaces you have taken here? Only one space. Why it was taking only one space? Because your string length is less than to four. How many less than to four? Only one character less than to four. Only one character less than to four. Okay. Uh, uh, that's why left side one space is occupied here. Okay. Uh, in the same to same when I'm passing. L pad, Sai, L pad, Sai, I'm giving 10. I'm giving 10. Now tell me, your string length is less than two given length. Your string length is less than two given length. Okay, now tell me. Now here, your string, how many characters less than two equals to 10? How many characters are less than two equals to 10? Seven characters. Seven characters will less than. Seven characters will less than two equals to ten. Okay, in this expression. In this expression. So that means what happened? Sai expression, sai string, left side. How many spaces will occupy? It? Seven spaces are occupied. Now let you see, let you see. I'm entering here. See. Left side, left side, how many spaces are occupied? Seven spaces are occupied. So seven spaces plus three characters, total 10. Total 10. As in the center? Ah, but these are the spaces. Suppose what we're saying here, sir, in place of spaces, sir, in place of spaces, I want to give some character. I want to give some character. Then you can apply your uh, second string you have to give. As of now, what we did there? So string number one, okay, string one given and length is given. Okay, now. But now if you want to give some additional specific character string, then you can use your string number two. Use your string number two. Okay, now. So that's why string number two, what you want to say, it is an optional. String number two, what it will say, it is an optional. String number two, what it will say, it is an optional. Okay, when I want to use a string number two, when you need to add some characters to your existing string, when existing string length is less than to given length, then you can use it. Otherwise, no need. If you're not using string two, what it was taking by default here, what it was adding by default when I'm not taking string two, Spaces are taken. That's it. Spaces are taken. That's it. Now, suppose I don't want it space, sir. I want to give some character. So now you can see I'm passing here L pad. 
of psi comma 10 okay now here one anything any special character or anything you have to take that okay from okay what you can set do it what you can set do it then what happened which specified character was given at the rate so this at the rate symbol how many times adding to my string expression on left side how many times adding <coughs> yes how many <coughs> seven times adding let you see uh, let you see seven times adding or not one two three four five six seven seven times adding seven psi three total total how much total how much total 10 so 10 is satisfied the given length okay now this is l pack same as it is same as it is r pack r part is also for example psi was there 10 and suppose are using uh, anyone some character symbol whatever it is you can use now if i'm saying then what happened this percentiles uh, okay it was adding seven times in the right side in the right side so that means uh, okay this is left pad and right pad but when you have to go when you have to go means uh, whenever you want to string length is less than two given length then only then only we need to add a, some extra characters otherwise uh, no need to add it so this is l padding and r padding working nature and the next one is called as a concat function concat function so concat function okay purpose is what now means we are adding okay two okay string expressions adding two string expressions okay syntax is concat of string number one comma string number two okay and get of string number one comma string number two now now you can see select concat of suppose i'm giving here good is a one string and i'm taking here morning is a one string and from dual so finally the two okay string expressions are adding together and telling good morning okay now so this is concat concat means adding two string expressions adding two string expressions okay right in the next one is okay next one is a replay so these all functions okay idea okay working nature okay if you understanding that then in the future wherever i'm using these functions in my queries that you can easily get it why i'm using this function in my query so that you can understand it here okay that you can understand it here <clears throat> okay now so now so replace replace means what here in the name only there replace replace is nothing but to to replace to replace one string expression to one string to or one string with uh, an other string carefully observe one string with uh, an other string one string in place of one string if i want to put it if i want to put uh, another string expression there you can use a replace there you can use a replace okay now so now you can see syntax what is the syntax of this what is the syntax of this replace replace of this is first one is called a string one your string expression and the next one is called as a next one is called as a old characters 
okay old characters it is also string next one is called as a new characters new character string okay so now this is so okay so now you can see so string one okay and from this string one if any old string characters from old string characters will be replaced with the new string characters then you can use this one new tag so these three expressions okay otherwise even though you can say one more way also this syntax will be represented by people so what is the another syntax here string one okay if any confusion is there the two i am taking string number two and here <coughs> string number three this is also you can say so simply old characters new characters will be placing in your string one okay now right so now let me come up some examples now suppose are you given now okay replace replace of one string expression i am giving carefully observe guys carefully observe suppose what is my string here hello hello is a one string in this hello in this hello e l l was there okay i am taking see hello is there na in hello few character few group of characters e l l i was taken e l l these are old characters sir new characters sir <coughs> old characters old characters means these characters are already existing in your string expression already existing in your string expression okay na so that means from my, my string the specific group of characters i am taking from from my my string string i am taking specific group of characters okay e l l now this e l l position suppose i want to give a x y i am giving now x y is called as a old characters sir new characters sir new characters so that means what it was happening you can see from duel in place of e l l what it will be placing guys what it will be placing guys x y is placing so x y is a placing in place of e l l okay na so that means what is my answer what is my written value yes h x y o h x y o okay na uh, now let you see so h x y o that means in place of e l l it was taking x y okay na right so this is what we call suppose in the next level suppose in the next level so i'm pass replace of h e l l o okay and what we said e l l in place of suppose if i send okay a b c d if i'm sending then in place of e l l what it was taking a b c d it was taking a b so now you can see h in place of e l l a b c d and o it was taken so in the existing old characters if you want to replace into any new character you can use it like you can use it like okay now but can you observe suppose i am giving suppose i am replacing now in replacing what it was happen carefully observe in replacing h e l l o i was given 
now in this elo i am giving now in place of elo now i want to place mn okay i want to place okay i want to place mn string what it was happen carefully observe here elo that means here but in my string e l l o is there e l l o is there but here i am taking only e l o so the e l o i want to replace with the mn what it was happening you can see so is there any replacement is happening or not happening replacement is not happening why sir why sir why sir means sir, anybody guessing why it is not happening your replace any guessing any logic is there here careful observe here here i am taking the previous two example e l l e l l but here i am taking e l o that means what happened here this is what now this is not a continuous string character should be continuous here but here not a continuous string so here what happened e l i am taking one more l is break it that means are you skipped one more l is skipping and you are taking o that's why what it was treated here this is not a string that means a continuous string it required continuous string is required so that's why it is not uh, considering your values sir okay not uh, considering for example if i am saying like this that select the replace of hello now i am passing e l l o giving m n now can i replace now can i replace now yes i can replace because why i can replace because now continuous string is there continuous string is there e l l o continuous string is there so that's why i can replace with the mn i can replace with mn so h m n h m n okay na so point understanding na replace function how it was going to be replacing means string to string okay one string with another string but the string is nothing but what now in your existing expression string may be sorry string should be continuous string not in the gap if you are giving in the gap in your string if you giving in the gap then that will not considering first of all so that's why there is a no operation will be performed on your expression there is no operation will be performed your on your expression so that is very important string to string changing string to string changing okay replacing this is <clears throat> the string expression we call that means a replace expression we call now suppose you need to character by character if you want to translate that means you want to replace there we are using what now translate function using what now translate function translate function what it will do it will be character by character okay so that means what we can say to translate to translate to translate character by character okay so here also syntax here translate okay uh, string 1 comma string 2 comma string number 3 okay na no? right so now now we can come out let you see suppose same expression i am taking guys right here select translate translate of suppose i am passing h e l l o 
comma carefully observe carefully observe suppose i am passing e l o i am passing e l o i want to replace with the x y z i want to replace with the x y z then what is what it will happen means here observe this is not a continuous string this is not a continuous string i am taking just a e i was taken l i was taken o i was taken but in place of e l o what i am going to replacing here x y z the character by character so that means how it will be happening <clears throat> how it will be happening hmm. now here what happened i was taken here okay e l o is equals to x y z that means how it was taken here careful observe in place of e what it is substitute x is substitute in place of l what it is substitute y is substitute in place of o what it is substitute z is substitute okay na right now come to come to your expression is hello so your expression is hello h e l l o hello ah now you are e l o places these are substitute now substitute now substitute now h places h only ah e places what i want to substitute come on guys e places what i want to substitute yes very good x l places what i want to substitute l place e place what i said ah uh, e place x l place uh, y ah uh, okay l place y y again one more l is there na again y because two l's are there l's are there two l's are there so two y's o place z o place z understanding na okay now this is called a translating character by character okay now let you see let you see now see h x y y z so y sir y y two times means here l is a two times l places y will be taken out okay na so h x y y z h x y y z okay na so this is what we called as guys here okay so translate what happening each and every character by character is replacing your new characters replace is nothing but string to string only working string to string only working character to character translate is working guys character to character translating is what so this is the difference of replace and translate okay na right okay so these are some uh, i stop it here guys today and now some more functions are there that we will be continue in tomorrow's session